everyone and welcome to today's show and welcome to Brawling Badger Film Productions. If you're new to the channel, we are a variety channel that create B-movies, vlogs, streams, reviews, the works. And I hope you guys are well and thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a little review slash our thoughts on to Day's X-Men video that come out recently on Disney Plus. And of course, this is the third episode of X-Men 97. Da -da 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 -da. Indeed. And I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you on episode three. Now, obviously, we start off at the end of episode two with another Jean Grey appearing. Eek! And of course, without too many spoilers, this of course gets resolved during this episode. Now, I want to talk to you about my thoughts on the actual episode rather than a review, rather than saying exactly what happened, because I want you guys to watch it. I would like to talk about the tone of the episode, and that is fantastic. Now, obviously the first episode was very classic. The second one started to build on storylines, and this one is almost like, wow, we've got Mr. Sinister here, and it is a horror-themed episode. I never thought we would get one of these uh, from Disney+, Plus, but yes, we got it. The mad scientist, Mr. Sinister, is back, plaguing Morph and causing all sorts of stuff for the X-Men. There was a good few minutes in there where there was a possessed TV, things were crawling out of the TV, and there was all sorts of weird stuff where, you know, Jean Grey was being turned into the Goblin Queen. We had, of course, some weird scenes with Magneto and all squished up together and infused together, and it was really quite bizarre. So this is quite daring for Disney+, Plus, as, you know, obviously Disney aren't really risk-takers these days. They're quite bland, aren't they? Well, this is something a bit different, thank goodness. And it made you think, wow, this is actually pretty cool. Haven't seen this level of horror in Disney since Werewolf by Night a couple of years ago. And I was very, very impressed with it. And it spooked me out, actually, a little bit. There was a few scenes in there that made me go, oh, this is actually quite spooky. Because Mr. Sinister was never used like this before. And it's quite nice to have him as a horror villain and as a Frankenstein-style character. And they did well explaining his backstory as well, if you're new to the franchise. I was quite pleased with that because I did need an update of sorts on what was going on. Now, that being said, it was a fantastic horror film themed episode if you saw any sort of like easter eggs to horror films please let me know the only one i really saw was the ring and i did see a little nod to the newest evil dead where all the bodies were connected up obviously the ring connection was the evil thing coming out of the tv but of course there's probably some reanimator references there and things like that if you've seen it and you know any references, please hit me up in the comments. Now, animation style was fantastic as well. Um, I really did enjoy that. The voice of Charles Xavier was a bit weird, but maybe that's because I'm so used to the old school voice of Charles Xavier, and it made me feel a bit like, oh, this is different. So they've obviously got a new actor uh, involved with playing Charles Xavier. But... Wolverine sounds the same. A lot of the characters seem the same. It's a very interesting little uh, experience. And, of course, you still had Jubilee in there and some of the newer characters. But they take a back step in this episode, which is a shame in a way, because it would have been cool to see some interactions with Jubilee and Sinister. Now, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun ride. Very spooky and very fun. Had reminiscent of... You know, it made me think, oh, is this a real Ghostbusters episode? You know, had that sort of vibe to it as well. You know, they kept that 90s aspect to it. And I love 90s horror cartoons like Tales from the Crypt Keeper. So it reminded me slightly of that too. 
So there was quite a lot of references there. And I was quite pleased that Disney felt the need to be a bit more daring with their aspects. As you know, they've been playing it safe quite a bit with Marvels, with Thor Love and Thunder, and of course many other projects recently that have not really hit the mark. They've been playing it safe and it's been quite bland. This made me feel like, wow, maybe Marvel is up for taking chances. Maybe they are up for being daring. Maybe the losing streak will finish soon. Who knows? But let me know in the comments your thoughts. And do you think Dead, um, Deadpool will rescue the Marvel Universe on a separate note? Hit me up in the comments with that too. So I would say, as I'm very happy with this episode, and I'm really, really impressed with the fact that they took some chances and it was quite spooky, I would give this episode a good solid 5 out of 5. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Story was on point. Animation was on point. Spooks were on point. I loved it. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments. And if you think I'm way off base, hit me up in the comments and let me know. Righty-ho. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. More coming soon. See you next time, everyone. Bye.